which if you go into the My Disney Experience, it's the little search icon. And I've seen park bag ideas. What do you reckon? Did we bring coats? No. Umbrellas? No, it'd be fine. This item though is the bag. Isn't that cute? I love morning. it. Morning. Welcome back to a new vlog. It's a weekend vlog and it's Friday morning. We are about to head into Basingstoke. We're wanting to get the last few bits for our trip. I've got my list. We're going to go through those. Um, we're not going for a few more weeks, but... We know it's going to be busy with work leading up to the trip and also we don't want to be around people as much as we can help it the last two weeks of the trip just in case we're still testing in a few weeks time we're hoping they're going to drop it but you just don't know so we figured aid is off work today so we're going to head in and get all the last bits and pieces just toiletries and a few other bits and we'll have um starbucks and just have a mooch around as well the last time we went um everything closed we did primark and then we didn't realize it closed. Everything closed at seven and not eight. So we're getting in there early today. Let us know how all of you do are doing. How's your week going? Have you got trips coming up? We hope everyone is well and we hope you enjoy hanging out with us this weekend. Morning, Aid. Good morning. Are you ready to go shopping? Oh, I certainly am. You I'm do love to the shop, oh, don't I do, you? yeah. Especially when we need to try and get something. Yeah. So I've got my shopping list here. I've also bought my planning book. We tend to plan on the go quite a lot. I know quite a few of you said that you would really like me or us to talk more about our like trip planning in the vlogs so you know you'll probably recognize this book because I have one every single trip that we go on and sorry am I in your way no 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 it's good I'm just good. and um I just love it because I can have all the information on my lap I know you can if you have a phone but you know I like paper um and I like easily being able to look back over the trips but Today, this morning, actually, we are talking about snacks, Aid and I. So this is like the perfect time when we can do a little bit of trip planning in the car and talk about things. So we've been going through the list. We've made the mistake before of being in Epcot during the festivals. It's really busy. We don't really know what kiosks are offering what food. And then it's not until afterwards sometimes, is it? We come we back realize, and, oh, we would yeah, love to try that. <laughs> and we see it like on somebody's Instagram or somebody's YouTube. And we think, oh my gosh, I wish we'd have tried that. So this time, for the first time ever we're going prepared and we I googled it today um, the flower and wine no it's not flower and wine was food, it food and wine festival no it's not food and oh, wine no. that's October September oh, was it the flower and garden festival we've never been to flower and garden festival uh, yeah and we googled and it goes you can find a list of every single place and what food they offer and what price so we're going through and actually making a little note of all the things that we fancy and it's all going in my book so it's all in one place and I've just got a massive list of snacks now and little tip this is how I check out the snacks so I've got my Disney snacks and I know that we want the waffle Mickey waffle at Magic Kingdom so I've gone on to the map which if you go into the my Disney experience it's the little search icon and I've selected dining and then you can actually have a look around so let's I know that's Sleepy Hollow there Sleepy Hollow click on Sleepy Hollow and then you can go and look I can't really see very well what I'm doing oh, it's not as bad typing Today shopping with a new shorts yes new t-shirt and time for a Starbucks treat thank you to my sister we have used your Christmas gift card today new park bag ideas what do you reckon how much tech can he fit in that all of it <laughs> heading in here hoping to find the winnie the pooh range that t-shirt i really love the bag and do you know what i love about the bag look it's got a little pouch i don't know what to put in the pouch but i like it and trainers as well has it got two compartments yeah Mm, it is a nice bag. It's actually got, it's... How much is it? Uh, uh, 12 pounds. I do really like it. These are cute. A little shorts as well. I've already seen lots of things we didn't see the other day. A little Mickey vest top for four pounds. Just seen this really cute stuff as well. It's a hand cream, hairbrush. Don't know what that is, what's that? can't see what that is. Oh, hair colours, I think. And then there's like sh shower caps, face cloths, hair bands, and exfoliating gloves. 
I haven't seen the Winnie the Pooh clothing, but I have seen that wash bag. Ah, these are really cute. Just spotted a few travelly bits as well, eye patches and a cute little cabin bag. £35. Eight's just spotted this as well. This is like a small little wheelie bag, isn't it? A hard shell one. How much is that? £30. That's, all, that's 30 that one. It's that is really sweet. It is. It's ideal for kids. It's a diddy yeah. one. I've just seen these. This match that t-shirt, shoes and bag. It, although they're little sleepy sets, I would, well, I wouldn't wear that out, but they, I wouldn't question if that was seen out. The bottoms are really cute. So we're in from Basingstoke. Aid's just making a ham and pickle sandwich. We had to stop on the way home to pick up some piccalilli because we'd run out. And Aid's made us a gammon and piccalilli sandwich. His parents dropped around some gammon the other day. It was cooked and sliced. That's what we're having for lunch. Good morning, happy Saturday to you. I realised that my sister called me part way through when I was showing you something on my phone yesterday. So let's go back to that again. Um, so basically what I was saying about checking out the meals in Disney. Basically go into the My Disney Experience app. There's a little search button at the bottom click on that and that takes you to all the parks you can move around and you can like do the whole of Disney on there there's a bit at the top where it says wait times click on that and you've got loads and loads of different options go to dining and then it brings up all the different dining locations so I'm gonna go back to Sleepy Hollow because that's what I was looking at yesterday it's right next to the castle you click on it, it says Sleepy Hollow click on it again and you've got all the different options so if you're in the park you could even click on get directions it will show you the way you can order food you can do your mobile ordering however i am going to click on view menu it also tells you like opening times and things and then you've got a whole list of the menu it's brilliant so i'm looking at snacks and um it was the oh actually i wonder if mickey waffles are only showing as breakfast i wonder if they're only available in the morning. I don't know, are they? But Mickey Waffle, $6.49. So we were just going through everything yesterday or just some of the things and just looking and making a note of all the things we really, really want to try. So the question is, would you go with the Mickey Waffle with powdered sugar or would you have the strawberries instead? That's the question of the day. Anyway, we went out to, I didn't finish, I came home with a headache last night and um, had a snooze and then we went off to friends and we had such a nice evening it was something I was speaking about with the kids last weekend over Easter saying it's almost like we've done the whole COVID thing for the last two years and the thing we need to really work on now is nurturing relationships nurturing friendships nurturing family relationships um i've been the worst one i think i've been a really bad friend to a lot of people because i've just really shut myself away and like local friends that have wanted to get together and i'm always working i've worked all the way through and i'm always i've always got a deadline coming up i'm always busy and last night we went to friends and it was so so nice there's six of us my friend cooked chili with all the side bits and pieces and then we had two types of like meringue roulade afterwards it was just the perfect evening just so much laughing and we've all said that we need to do this more often but there's a lot of friendships that i need to contact people and rekindle things again because it, I think I'm, I know I'm not alone that a lot of people have been the same that you've just kind of like been absorbed in your own little bubble and it's hard now to step outside of that bubble so I know that I need to work on a lot of things because um, I know I've really dipped in self-confidence and it's just so easy to stay at home with aid all the time it's it's like my little comfort blanket but I need to start stepping outside of that comfort zone again so let me know if that sounds familiar to you anyway aid's about to mow the lawn i'm just waving at him and i'm gonna video edit and then we're gonna film that planning video and we're really fancying chili the chili at sonia's was so good last night so we're gonna have chili today because i've woken up fancying it again and i've also got i'll do a little mini um shopping haul for you as well of bits that we bought yesterday i didn't actually film in the end too much over the weekend it um, 
it was just mainly work stuff to be honest yesterday we did go out for a walk but it was our usual loop that i filmed on here a couple of times but it's monday and um, we've both finished work it's about quarter to six so we thought we'd head out for a walk before dinner we've got a very busy work week but um we finished work at a normal time today we haven't walked here for what feels like ages so we find when we're walking, yeah. we also do trip planning as well, don't we? We do, yeah. <laughs> Every moment we get, what are we talking about at the moment? Food? ADRs. <laughs> ADRs. <laughs> we just Advanced dining reservations. <laughs> we just find, obviously, because the price of things has gone up, haven't they? It's just, I don't know. Whereas we probably wouldn't have maybe thought too much about a reservation, mm. we're now kind of just really checking menus, aren't we? Mm. And seeing what's on them and how much it's all costing. Did we bring coats? No. Umbrellas? No, it'd be fine. We should have bought sunglasses. <laughs> it's getting a little bit warmer here. Really, really nice. We used to come here every weekend, didn't we? During lockdown, we just wander over and come for a walk. There's something really nice about finishing work for the evening and coming out for a walk. Oh. It is, however, looking very, very grey. <laughs> We're just going to walk this way. It looks sunny this way. Let's go this way. I think we've got a bit of roadkill up here. Not quite sure what it is yet. But that crow is having a feast. I'm not looking forward to this. I hate walking past dead animals. It freaks me out. Oh, I should have just fell down a hole. <laughs> we ended up being out a lot longer than we expected. We bumped into a friend on the common. Um, I've been chatting for ages. I think I've been bitten really badly around my ankles. We're just gonna, or I'm just gonna throw some dinner in the oven and then we're gonna walk Poppy. Right, so I'm gonna end this video a couple of days later with a little mini Primark haul. I did buy some kiddie stuff. Um, we've got a new baby in the family in Germany. And I bought some really, really cute little Mickey Mouse shoes and t-shirts, um, but they've gone off to Germany, so I haven't got those. First item though is the bag. Isn't that cute? I love this bag. I wasn't going to get it. I'm so glad I did. I love, I just find this kind of bag really handy. The two compartments, and I don't know what I'm gonna put in that. Look, it's so cute. What would you put? In there, headache tablets? I don't know, what would you put in there? It's really cute though. And I've got a zipped compartment, which I really like inside as well. A very, very handy part bag and it will go, I wear a lot of navy, so it will go really, really well with my navy outfits. Um, I bought a t-shirt, which I am going to need to return. It is absolutely huge on me. It's ex, um, extra small, but I think they all come up ginormous. The sleeves come down really low on me. Everything, I'm just completely swamped in it. Um, and it's a very heavy fabric as well. So um, it was eight pounds, but I just don't feel comfortable in it. It's absolutely massive. I also picked up some trainer socks. I always buy this and just plain underwear before we go away. And then I can just put it in the bag and it's in the case, two pounds 80 for 10. I also got um, mascara from Primark. I absolutely love this stuff, three pounds. I used to spend 30 pounds on mascara and I think this is better. Aid picked up some of these for the trip. Um, they're really handy, they're little squeezy ones which are really quite good because some of the more solid ones, if you're trying to squeeze out the shampoo and that, it doesn't always come out so well. So these are quite handy and they were also one pound. Some cheapy toothbrushes. I like to keep these for like the overnight stays, like in, um, what you call it, Premier Inn and that kind of thing. They're quite handy to have. I also bought this for Louis. Um, it is, oh, I can't open it. Um, it is a really, really nice um, men's um, scent. And um, it just smelled really fresh, really, it was just perfect for a young guy. And um, he's a Chelsea supporter, so I thought he'd like the blue as well, but I thought it was really, really good. And that was only £10. Um, the other thing I've got, I've ordered this from John Lewis. I, it's my mum's birthday coming up. I wanted to get her a park bag, 
but one that she didn't have to just use for parks that she could use after as well so I didn't want to do a Disney one because she wouldn't usually wear that I found this on John Lewis it is from Fat Face the reason I ordered it from John Lewis is because we get 25% off with our kids working at Waitrose but I thought it was a nice neutral colour to go with things it's got a nice little pouch bit at the back it's zip up which I think for a park bag or any bag when you're out and about is really really important it's quite deep there I've practiced you can fit a water bottle in it's got a zip up bit and it's also got two little compartments there as well the only thing is it's there's not much depth to it but um, I like it it's got really comfortable straps which are adjustable and it's got a zip at the front as well. I just want enough for her. A water bottle, small purse, um, little brolly, that kind of thing. So I think that should be fine. But um, across the body I think is really important as well when you're in the parks. So um, I hope she likes her first park bag. With discount it came to £22. Which I thought was quite a nice buy. And it's the kind of bag as well which is quite hard wearing. So if it gets a bit grubby on a ride you're not going to notice. What do you think? suitable I think that was quite a nice find but that is my mini um shopping haul but I hope you've enjoyed this weekend's vlog a little bit all over the place this um this one I just feel at the moment that's how we are at the moment we're feeling a little bit all over the place um loads and loads of work going on which is really boring for you to see so I don't always film that and um, we're just kind of like here there and everywhere at the moment hello Poppy But um, thank you for hanging out with us this weekend. I hope you've enjoyed it and we look forward to catching up with you next weekend. Have a great week.